What's up guys, Honk, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. And today, let's get right into it. I'm gonna answer a question from one of the guys. Uh, Donovan Howell uh, asked, I like to compete in BJJ with the Gi. So should I train wrestling or Judo? I'm, I'm leaning towards Judo, but I'm open to other suggestions. Thanks a lot for the question, Donovan. So let me uh, answer this right away. Short answer, judo. If you're gonna train in the gi and you only do that, you don't really do no gi, like your focus is, is gi, then definitely judo because that's gonna give you such a big advantage when you're competing uh, against BJJ guys. And you're just gonna have so much more in-depth knowledge of uh, the ground game as well as uh, on top of already what, are, what you already know in BJJ. Obviously, you know, standing up, you'll, uh, you'll have a big advantage there against somebody who uh, doesn't uh, do judo uh, for BJJ, right? The problem with judo these days is that they don't really uh, work on, what do you call it, the, like the leg attacks, right? But they do have them. It's just that they work less on them because it's illegal now in judo competition. As long as you um, incorporate a little bit of leg attacks because, you know, BJJ guys, a lot of BJJ guys do wrestling, so they might attack your legs. So you want to understand how to defend that. And of course, for yourself, how to do that too. But that exists in judo. So you could just talk to your, uh, you know, you could just tack that on uh, through a little bit of um, a wrestling, um, you know, takedown, you know, single leg, uh, double leg and, and those kind of stuff, right? You could tack that on easily. But what you're going to learn in, uh, in judo for the standing up part, for the tachiwaza, I mean, it's just going to uh, be so advan advantageous to you when it comes to um, to BJJ with the gi. A lot of BJJ guys don't understand gripping at the level of uh, a judo player does. If you grab, if you get your grips, because most BJJ guys that I've seen uh, don't really grip. Already when you when you start off, like hundreds of fights start standing up. And yes, in BJJ, you could pull guard and all that, but you know, you don't have to like pull, worry about that pull guard because you know right away, like you come in, you, you, you set up your grips. And after that, you have the choice of taking the guy down or the guy's going to pull guard. And then from there, well, you know, you just uh, work on your, your BJJ game, which is essentially to pass the guard and, and do what you gotta do. And of course, if the guy stays standing up with you and you throw him or you sweep him, you take him down, that's, that's an automatic two points there. And you're gonna have uh, develop a lot of attributes that are going to carry over very well to BJJ competition. Explosivity, right? Core strength, uh, being to hold guys down, like really hold them down, which is uh, which is could be very very useful. Judo guys are very good at that uh, because of the positioning, little details that you might not quite have in BJJ. BJJ guys like tend to flow, right, when they roll. Uh, they don't uh, establish position and stay stuck there for long periods of time uh, because it's just the nature of, uh, of the sport. Whereas in judo, like if we have a guy on the ground, we're gonna hold them there. Like if we could hold them, we're gonna hold them because we could win by pinning. If we pin a guy for 20 seconds, it's over. And in the old days, uh, this is an interesting fact, maybe you guys don't know. The, one of the reasons why if you're able to hold your, your, uh, your adversary down, your opponent down for 20 seconds, and you, you win is essentially because if you were to do that in a battlefield, you know, like uh, back in feudal Japan where they had a bunch of samurais on one side and the other side, and then they would just, you know, clash. Then what happens is that you hold the guy down long enough that essentially means he got stabbed already. Either you stabbed him with your dagger that you pulled out or somebody else, uh, one of your, your, your cohorts came along and just stabbed him uh, with a, a uh, you know, a big ass sword. <laughs> Right. And then from there also, like you're gonna you're gonna learn some um, some variants of uh, chokes, some more traditional chokes that are pretty um, uh, that are less a lot less common in BJJ, actually very common in judo. So that's gonna help you out a lot too. That's what I would suggest. Definitely judo. Uh, tack on a couple of uh, you know uh, single legs and double legs and stuff like that from wrestling or even from um, you know from the judo techniques. Cause if your club could talk to the instructor and they could, you know, if they're well versed in it, then they could show you all kinds of takedowns while grabbing the legs, all kinds of counters and stuff like that. So it's really cool too. So that's my answer. I hope that made sense. I hope that was helpful. So guys, if you um, if you have questions, uh, yeah, in the comments below, 
right? And of course, you can always send me an email. I put a priority for those ones because I see those more often than I see the questions like uh, in the comment sections of the videos. And uh, that's it, man. Love you very much. See you next time. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.